Hello Sound Blaster Cinema 1 users, today I'm going to go over some quick fixes for using Windows 10 with this piece of software. Now you may have recently upgraded to Windows 10 and you found that your Sound Blaster Cinema software no longer detects the device and just won't work. Well here's how to fix that. Now first off you're going to want to have the latest Realtek drivers downloaded from their site here. Note there's a 32-bit and a 64-bit version so get the correct version for your operating system. I'm running Windows 10 64-bit so I'd want this 64-bit file here. Now in conjunction with that you'll need the latest Sound Blaster Cinema driver meant for Windows 8.1. This is version 1.00.02. Now if you look in the video's description you'll find links for both of these files. Here's the Sound Blaster Cinema for 8.1. This version works properly with Windows 10. Download it here in conjunction with the latest Realtek driver and you should be good to go. Now I'm using an MSI GT70 uh, notebook in conjunction with an ALC892 chipset from Realtek. Now this worked properly for me with Windows 10. Now one other problem people have been having is actually launching the software. Now if you can't get the software to launch, you'll navigate to the installed folder in your program files x86, creative, Sound Blaster Cinema, Sound Blaster Cinema, and scroll down. Now here is the config file. Now if you can't actually launch the application, you'll want to delete this configuration file right here and this will get the application to launch normally. So some people have reported that being an issue and then you'll be able to launch it up normally if it wasn't working before. I've already got it going in the background. Please like the video and subscribe. I hope this has helped you out. Enjoy your sound with Windows 10. Thanks for watching everybody.